المغرب كان في هواء فطلعنا ولا مباشرة الطيران فوقنا الطيران فوقنا بعد ما في شي عشر دقائق ولا الصياح عم علي صيحوا سلمي حالك البيت محاصر سلمي حالك البيت محاصر سمعنا اطلاق نار اطلاق نار يعني قذائف من الطيران وصار اطلاق نار كمان شو اسمه يعني رشاش او هيك شغلات Last night, operating on my orders, the United States military forces successfully moved a major terrorist threat to the world, the global leader of ISIS, known as Haji Abdullah. He took over as leader of ISIS in uh, 2019 after the United States counterterrorism operation killed al-Baghdadi. Since then, ISIS has directed terrorist operations targeting Americans, our allies, and our partners, and countless civilians in the Middle East, Africa, and in South Asia. Haji Abdullah oversaw the spread of ISIS-affiliated terrorist groups around the world after savaging communities and murdering innocents. He was responsible for the recent brutal attack on a prison in northeast Syria holding ISIS fighters, which was swiftly addressed by our brave partners in the Syrian Democratic Forces. He was the driving force behind the genocide of the Yazidi people in northwestern Iraq in 2014. We all remember the gut-wrenching stories, mass slaughters that wiped out entire villages, thousands of women and young girls sold into slavery, rape used as a weapon of war. And thanks to the bravery of our troops, this horrible terrorist leader is no more. Our forces carried out the operation with their signature preparation and precision, and I directed the Department of Defense to take every precaution possible to minimize civilian casualties. Knowing that this terrorist had chosen to surround himself with families, including children, we made a choice to pursue a special forces raid at a much greater risk than our, to our own people, rather than targeting him with an airstrike. We made this choice to minimize civilian casualties. Our team is still compiling the report, but we do know that as our troops approached to capture the terrorist, in a final act of desperate cowardness, he, with no regard to the lives of his own family or others in the building, he chose to blow himself up, not just to the vest, but to blow up that third floor, rather than face justice for the crimes he has committed, taking several members of his family with him, just as his predecessor did. I'm grateful for the immense courage and skill and determination of our U.S. forces, who skillfully executed this incredibly challenging mission. The members of our military are the solid steel backbone of this nation, ready to fly into danger at a moment's notice to keep our country and the American people safe as well as our allies.